Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome to Mars Horizon. This is a strategy slash simulation game where we lead one of the three major space agencies in a race to space domination and a race to Mars. Now this game has apparently been created with the support of the European Space Agency and currently it is in closed beta. So keep in mind that everything you see over here is subject to change and might be different when the game re uh, hits full release on Steam, which should be s at some point later down in 2020. So, uh, it is a bit like Kerbal Space Program. If you like that game, then maybe you'll enjoy this one, but... Alright, close beta, things might change, let's start the game. So, we have three agencies right from the start, we can go with European Space Agency, we can start as Russia, or we can start as NASA. So, of course, since I'm from Europe, we're gonna go with European Space Agency because, you know, gotta be local patriots or something like that. Anyway, we have bonuses for that. 100% rewards for joint missions, increased chance of joint missions, generating 50% science bonus from diplomatic relationships, and 5% payload reliability. Let's begin the game. So, the game begins in January 1957. There is Earth. This is our funding right now. We're getting 50k monies per uh, month we get 11 research points and uh, our funding is at tier one right now let's start a new research so we have unlocked the test launch which is something we're going to be playing with so we can unlock out here in the mission tree we can unlock artificial satellite next and this is going to give us a destination to send a satellite into orbit and play around with that. As you can go, you, you can see, we can go down here and get animals into space or go into lunar orbit and so on and so forth. Send humans and so on. Then you have ERA 2 and do, you do more human space exploration and onwards to glory. And in this you compete with the other space stations and, you know, whoever does things first gets more funding uh, for future stuff you can also research buildings we can get research labs rocket test pads all that kind of good stuff and vehicles so right now we just have a sounding rocket that's the only thing we have we can research some boosters we can research some upper layers of things and such and such and then you know go further down the line get more stuff so Let's see what we can actually do right now. If we pop into Earth, let's actually look at our base. Our base, only we have a vehicle hangar, we have a small launch pad, and we have HQ. That's all we have right now. You can get more stuff and you can build more stuff as you unlock things. But that's that's what we have right now. Diplomacy, uh, this is our overview. We have neutral 95 status with NASA and neutral 50 with Russia. So. We're, we're chill right now. We could propose joint mission, but it's okay. Now, if you click on Earth, you get a couple of missions that we can do right now. Most of these are logged because we don't have the research, but we have a test launch, which is available. We could plan this mission and get it going, or we could wait a second, maybe do some research and, you know, get something new. The test launch is before launching a payload into orbit. It's vital to test the agency's launch facilities with suborbital flights. These sounding rockets will carry an array of sensors and other experiments, but don't have the power to achieve orbit. So you know what? Let's try it out. Let's see how well we do. We're going to plan out the mission. We're going to select the vehicle. We're going to build the sounding rocket. Now, since we don't really have any boosters or anything like that, it's just going to be the basic rocket. It is what it is. It's going to be named Eternity. We could rename that, but that's okay. This is all locked because we have nothing for it. And uh, it's going to take one month and 80k to build. We have the money. We have the time. Let's confirm. We're going to start building the vehicle. Reliability, 25%. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad, but you know what? It has been approved. Let's go. Uh, so let's start the research and let's maybe unlock the next mission that we could do. Uh, or you know what? Let's actually go and uh, maybe research one of the boosters. So we have the Emerald or Jupiter. And this one gives us better launch reliability. It is costly. It costs much more. And it costs a month longer to build. And it is more research. But I think we're going to go for this. We could go with this one and, you know... Yeah, let's go with Jupiter. Let's go. So I'm going to go to next month. Yeah, at this point, our first rocket should be built. There you go. Vehicle complete. Beautiful. Eternity. No effect. 
Reliability is still 25%. We can do training and launch date. I don't think there's going to be any training because, yeah, we don't have the, the mission for that unlocked. But we can set up the launch date. So we are in February right now. If you do it in March, it's suboptimal launch date. So we lose even more of these reliability. So April is fine. Yeah, we'll do it in April. Sure. Why not? We can try it out. Let's try it in April. April. Select and let's confirm the mission setup. Launch approved. 25% availability. Sounds good. Let's go to next event, which should be next month. Jupiter research complete. And we have reached the era one of dawn of space flight. As rocket technology advances, so does the prospect of exploring beyond the confines of our planet. Yet the public continues to question whether the fledgling agencies can overcome the danger for space flight. We have unlocked the moon, so we can look at the moon now. We don't have any missions that we could do there because, you know, we're not quite there yet. We are not quite there yet. So let's select a new research. I'm gonna go and gonna maybe unlock one of these. To pause. 55 launch reliability. Okay. It's cheap-ish. Easy to build. Small solid fuel upper stage capable of lifting only basic satellites into low orbit. Or we go with Jupiter. A versatile early solid fuel upper stage which spins its payload to provide gyroscopic stabilization. More relay reliable and all that stuff. Takes a bit longer to research, but let's do it. I, I you know, let's, you know, our first launch is going to be horrible, probably. So let's see if we can get the next ones a bit better. So let's start the next event. Jupiter research complete. I think Russia did the, uh, the launch. Yeah, Russia did it. And we're going to be trying to do it right now. No training set. 25%. Let's launch the mission. That's how well we do over here. Mission control. Let's see. That's our beautiful tiny rocket. Launch date of eternity. Let's see how well we do. Eternity. Let's go. Congrats to Russians to do it so fast. Okay, launch outlook. So. Reliability is 25%. There's adequate conditions, so we get a plus 2%. So overall, 27. So we have 18% chance in-flight engine failure, critical. Vehicles destroyed. 55% chance system damage is negative, and we lose our mission reward, or a bunch of it. 20% uh, chance to, for neutral, and 7% chance of smoke, smooth takeoff. Hopes and prayers, we don't explode. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It hasn't exploded yet. That's a good thing. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Eternity. Don't be so loud. Yes. We got an applause, boys. We got an applause. All right. Okay. So we got whatever it was, 50% chance. That's fine. But we launched up there. It did not fail. Last launch you. We did it second. Okay, fine. Mission rewards, we got 11 approval. All right, continue. Good, so our next mission would give us uh, more. We did enough because for our next year of founding, by which is next year you get review every January, we had to reach up to 15 of the support and we have reached that, so good. Next, uh, next year we're going to get extra boost of monies. So that's fine. Let's go back to what we have. Research. No research has been set. We have researched all of this, which is good. So let's go into a mission. Let's uh, unlock the artificial satellite mission. I think I like the idea of that. Because that's going to be the next mission. We can't really do anything yet. So let's go uh, next event. NASA did launch. Okay. An essential first step in every space program. The first agency to launch a satellite to a stable orbit. We'll take prominent early lead into space race. Yes. Is that going to be us? We'll try to do it. So, um, let's see. Uh, can we can we do it? No. We need to unlock the payload. Yes, I think so. So, we're going to have to go down this line and unlock the payload as well. So, let's research that. It's going to take a couple of months to research it, but that's, I believe in us. So let's go next event. There you go. 
A small cylindrical satellite carrying basic X-ray and cosmic ray detectors. Sweet. All right, so now we can try the artificial satellite. So uh, let's see what are the suggested thingies. Well, it suggests all of these, so hopefully the boosters and basically the Jupiters will do fine for us because that's the only thing we do have. Let's plan the mission. We have the payload. Uh, so we can go different ones over here. We have 65 payload reliability. We can go, that's the standard. We have observation, improved observation modules, but reduced payload reliability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or we could go prototype, reduce build cost, but reduces payload reliability. Or we could go increase power, increase build cost. We have the money. More power is good. Now, power is important for special events that happen when you go into space. So we'll get to see that. So let's go with the power boy. Yes, let's go. Build a payload. Payload approved. Good stuff. It's going to be complete in two months. Let's select new research. In this, uh, in the meantime, actually, we could uh, maybe research one of the better boosters. You need 25, which we're probably not going to reach in these two months. We could do this one. Actually, we have five stored right now. We get 22 in two months, so we should be able to do caster for extra payload stuff if you want to this is for low or earth orbit yeah both yeah let's try let's try caster sure we'll try doing that let's go yeah caster is done powerful solid fuel booster designed to launch payloads into low orbit sweet hello there's our payload it has been built has been complete our engineers reported various payload improvements have reduced launch vehicle dam demands, yet media interest in the mission has been lower than anticipated. Vehicle build time, support reward. That's unfortunate. Let's design the vehicle then. So let's uh, do it. Support reward is down, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a new one. So now we, you can see we can choose the upper stage and the booster. It's called Antelope. Nice. So upper stage. We have only this option, so we'll grab this one. It gives us 70% reliability. That's pretty solid. We'll select that part. And for the booster, we have the two options. So we have this one, which is 75, and this one, which would be 80, but you know, it costs more. We have the money for it. It's gonna cost the same amount of time to build it. So I'll select the better one. You know, get better reliability. So we're up to 65 payload reliability. Okay, and uh, launch is 75. Antelope, I will confirm you. Good, build a vehicle. That's all of our money, but we don't really need it for anything else, right? It's gonna complete in four months, so we have things to do until then. Uh, until then, let's go ahead and unlock maybe a building. So a rocket test pad, it's gonna take a couple of months. Uh, will allow further and more rigorous vehicle engine tests resulting in more reliable launches which is definitely something we want right let's go to the next event which is going to take a couple of months there you go so a rocket test pad yes will allow more and better stuff so we can go into base right now and we can build a new building we have the excuse me rocket test pad it's 100k it's uh 5k per month takes three uh three ticks now you can see out here uh there's these pluses right and uh, on the right you can see when you build this it gives you plus minus one percent vehicle build cost plus one percent launch reliability i don't know exactly which of these work better together but hey that it, that's how it is you know it gives you these these pluses sometimes and sometimes you can also get negatives I've seen that as well, although I don't know if I can get it right now. In any case, let's do... I don't know why over here it shows three, but let's build it there. I will confirm this. Build me this building. Good. We need to pick up the research. So we could do a research lab. We could do spacecraft assembly facility. We could go further down over here to more of these, or we could unlock one of the missions. Animal in space or lunar orbit? Both of these sound interesting. 
This one is more science award, but less support. This one is more support, but less uh, science. Let's let's try animal in space first. We'll unlock that mission. All right, let's go to next event. <clears throat> Budget review. Okay, so we have reached what we wanted to read. So we're up to 16. We now get more money. I'll accept this and continue. I appreciate it. An artificial satellite vehicle has been complete. Look at this bad boy. Antelope. Okay, launch went down, that's unfortunate, but payload went up. Okay, let's set the training launch date. Training unavailable. Okay, we need buildings for that, that's fine. Launch date. Looks like February is optimal. Which is very soon, so sure, let's go February. It will put us, like, number one. It keeps us in number one, so it looks like these guys are not really working on it, so yes. Let's select the date. Confirm mission setup. It has been approved. Next month, boys, we're going into space. Let's hope it doesn't fail. We are way ahead of the competition on this one. No training has been set, that's okay. 75 on the payload, 66 on the launch. Let's hope 66 is fine. It dropped a bit due to unforeseen circumstances, but that's okay. Sounds a bit cloudy. It's dark. Rocket is a bit bigger than last time. February 1958. Europe is leading it's the space race. <sighs> well then. Show me. Okay, good conditions. So we go up to 75. Perfect. So a 6% chance of critical failure. Okay. 19 of payload damage. Which gives us uh, payload reliability goes down. 56 of just the secure stuff and 19 of strong comms gives us one of these comms things that we're going to get into soon. I believe in you. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I've never been this nervous before. It's going. We're going up. Shaking slightly. Tilting a bit, but I believe in you. I believe in you, Antelope. We got an applause, boys. We got an applause. Let's go. All right. Okay, the secure launch, nothing special. I, I don't know why the parts are leveling up, but hey, I guess if you use them next time, they have better reliability and such. I believe that's how it works. So that's fine. So now that we are in the space, we have a special thingy going on, and you'll see. So we have to achieve Earth orbit. For that, we need to collect two these things and two of these things. So that is our goal. And we have the energy or the power that we can then use to do these actions. So if we try the, the ground control connection, you can see we can also fail. We're going to use one of these. And we're gonna get one of these bad boys out. So we're gonna try that first. And with the other one, we can then try one of these. And uh, let's see, let's get, let's spend, let's do orbital, orbit visual sweep, which would give us a lot of these, but it's gonna lose the one of these that we get. But let's try it. Resolve turn, let's see how well we do. Good, that one went well. The first one went well, we're gonna get a connection with the Earth. Ground control connection successfully completed, and we have gotten one of these thingies. But now we get to use that thingy to do this one, and it also went well. Good stuff. Or orbit visual sweep completed, and now we get three of these thingies. We still have four power, so we can continue using that. So this is now complete. Now we need to achieve two of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to try the align burst transmission. We're going to use one of these blue balls, and we're going to get two of these out of here. So we're going to try that, and then I'm going to just do visual data collection. And hope this goes well. Oh, it failed. Oh boy. We did fail. A minor solar flare here caused a burst of static overwhelming the transmission. This section will cost an additional... One of these bad boys, unless you spend one power to resist the event. Let's resist it, we have extra power. So that's fine. We get the two of these and we're good. Mission control, we're good! Applause, ladies and gentlemen, we have done the mission successfully. Let's go, we're the first 
We get bonus 6 approval. Mission rewards 25. Let's go. And you get extra 30 uh, signs for 2 months. We have done it, boys. We have done it. Beautiful. So we'll be unlocking animal in space on the next turn. And that is the next mission we can try. Which is beautiful. We are ahead. We have uh, a request mission. Test launch. High altitude photography. Launch a sounding rocket equipped with 35mm camera to capture images of curvature of Earth from high altitude. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. Sure. You know, we are ahead of the race. We don't need to do the animal thing. So let's try to do this. Let's select the vehicle. Let's build a sounding rocket. Um, I don't think we can, on the sounding rocket, I don't think we can pick these ones. It's 41 launch reliability, so it's better than our first one. So, sure. I'll confirm this. We have the money, so let's build a vehicle. Yeah. It's gonna take a tick, but that's fine. Race to space. The prospect of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labeled it as an impossible endeavor, whilst the less skeptical, skeptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first. Sarah have contacted your agency for a statement. Uh, I will win the race. Yes, I will. You have replied that it's not only possible, but inevitable that a human will reach space. And what's more, your agency will be the first to achieve it. Your statement has resulted in a surge of public support, yet detractors maintain that your agency is setting itself up for a fail. Wow. Nice. Animal and space research complete. Launching an animal into space provides a crucial testing of life support systems without risking astronauts. Poor animals. It can also be sent in smaller spacecraft and don't necessarily need to be brought back to Earth. Uh, excuse me, they don't? How? That, that's not nice. Let's see uh, our photography. Anubis. No effects. Okay. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's set the training and launch date. We can do training now. Uh, choose a training program to improve mission performance. The more time allotted to the training, the greater the benefit the mission. Uh, sure. It's gonna be... How long? I don't know, but we'll see. So let's see, if we go in uh, June, it's optimal. And then the longer we go, the more we get the bonus. So you know, June is fine, 50%. I'm fine with us. Let's go. Confirm. In June, we shall launch the thingy. What's our next research? So we did the animal in space. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do more stuff over here. Better, better thingies. Potentially. As you can see, to unlock this, we need to uh, research two of these. So maybe starting there, we could do a research lab, spacecraft assembly. Sure, these, these ones are going to be done in a second, so let's do that. Radiation belts discovered. Data from your recent artificial satellite mission has confirmed that the belts of trapped radiation surround Earth, shielding the planet from the sun's cosmic ray. Gain 20 signs. Well, that's nice. Research lab research complete. Easy. We can do... Mission control unlocks one additional mission slot, extra signs per month, or payload build cost. None of these are that important, I think. We do have the animal in space. If, I think we need to research this to actually get there. And we can get this in like two turns. Yeah. So let's uh, research Eden. It's time. Let's see what's going to be our next event. Is it? Uh, it's April. We are launching in June, so we still have a bit to go. Eden research complete. A small capsule able to carry animals into space to study the effects of space light on living organisms. And we do have our photography thingy. So let's see. Okay, so we are fifty percent. That's better than the twenty-five we had in the first ever launch. So hopefully this one's going to go fine. I hope so. Anubis! Let's go. Interesting name for a small rocket like this. That is just gonna take some photos. But, sure. I believe in you. Oh, the conditions are not that good. So we have 30% chance of critical failure. 40% chance of 
system damage. 35 for secure launch and 12% of smooth takeoff. Let's go, boys. I believe in you, Anubis. Go and take some photos. Don't blow up in space, okay? This is an XCOM. Don't blow up in space. You're looking good, buddy. You look... Oh, Anubis! Rest in pieces. Critical failure. 13% chance, huh? Our sounding rocket leveled up, though. <laughs> Mission failed. Uh, yes, it has. Yes, it has. Alright. Our funding review is in 7 months and uh, we need to be how high? We need to reach 40, which we reach 50. So, pff, easy money. Easy money. So, we did Eden. Uh, at this point, we really should go and unlock some more of these. So this is uh, this one goes up to the Earth and Lunar Orbits. 75% launch reliability. 85 on this one. Earth Orbit. This one can go to the Moon. This one, Earth. Let's, uh, let's unlock the Moon one. Let's open up with that. Yes. And do we have any special... We could do ionospheric measurements. This will grind squeeze by 25. Uh, it's a challenge. Or we could try the animal in space. Let's see what are you suggesting over here. Nothing really special. We will have able in time. So we could try animal in space. Or we could try to do this. Let's do ionospheric measurements. Yes. Payload. Standard. I like the extra power. Costs a bit more, but I like it. You know, we have the options up there. So let's approve this payload. Good. Let's go to next event. Rocket science. After analyzing data from your recent failed test launch, researchers have identified several improvements that can be made to your booster technology. Sometimes we learn more when the things blow up. A particularly enthusiastic engineer commented. Got 15 signs. Very nice. Which means we're gonna complete ABLE. Alright. And we're also gonna build our payload. And we have the ABLE for it now, if we need to. Although I don't think we do. Payload reliability goes up. Nice. So let's select the vehicle. Um, so we could do... Payload is 40 kilos, so we could do either this one... Or that one. I think we just go with Jupiter. We don't need to go uh, crazy. Because that one is... Yeah. We don't need to go with that big one. We go with Jupiter. Yeah. And booster. How far do we have to go? We could go with uh, Jupiter or we could go with Castor. I'm gonna go with Jupiter. We don't need to spend that much on this one. This is, this is a side mission. Let's select this one. Stargazer. I believe in you. Alright, build a vehicle. Uh, completes in six months. It's gonna take a while. Let's see, what is gonna be our next research? Let's, uh, let's look at these. These two that go into Earth orbit. This one is 40% launch reliability. But it's 50k. This one is 99.85. Yeah, we'll research star 37. And then we probably should go some new buildings, maybe. Let's go next event. There you go, star research completed. I'm gonna go into spacecraft. Oh, I forgot about that. I have a research a research lab. We never built that, did we? Now, I think we need to remove some of these to actually be able to build it. It's 100k to remove 3,000 forests. Seems legit. <laughs> Research Lab, the technological technological hub of your space agency. The Research Lab can greatly improve scientific yield from missions. It's 100k. Uh, and we could you please rotate it? Doesn't want to rotate. Excuse me. I know you. Yeah, there you go. It was rotating. Huh? It doesn't fit well over here. I don't like that. I do not like that. It's got some pluses over here. I should have checked this earlier. Mm, I don't like that. I don't want the less signs per month. I'm sorry. 
So we either get rid of this, 150. This is 50k, okay. Fine. Probably not what we should have done, but whatever. Let's rotate this bad boy. Come on. There you go. Vehicle build cost and all that stuff. Complete. It has been completed. All right, let's go next event. Open Skies Debate. A global symposium is taking place to establish laws regarding territorial space for orbiting satellites. The proposed treaty states that all nations should have free access to space. I support this. They all should have. Your agency has lent its support to the proposed law, stating that all humanity should have unimpeded access to space. The other agency have reacted well to your stance. Diplomacy with other agencies. Okay. Um, uh, we can check diplomacy over here. Which means NASA is now friendly with us. Okay, Space Science Library for joint missions. That'd be nice. Let's go next event. Another space treaty established. With your agency support, a global committee has established a treaty that forbids sovereign claims on space or celestial bodies. And asserts that space activities should be for the benefit and in, and in the interest of all countries. I agree. I very much agree with that. Uh, assembly facility research completed. Russia did the artificial satellite now. NASA is still lagging behind. All right. Uh, did we get? We got the. What did we just get? Oh, spacecraft assembly facility. We could build this one. Vehicle build time goes down or payload reliability. I'd prefer the payload reliability to be honest. Confirm. Building all the buildings. Let's go. We're going to be getting more money soon, so it's fine. Research. This is all done. Let's go... Missions. Let's uh, let's unlock the lunar orbit mission. Sure. Okay. Research lab has been completed. Budget review. We should be fine, boys. There you go. We're going to get 100 per month now. Next year is 125. And we need to get like 30. Okay, we'll try that. Stargazer is going to be complete next month, which is nice. Russia is launching animal things in seven months. Really? Wow, they really went from nothing to big boys, huh? I have been slacking on that one. Do you want to set up some training? So we could set up payload, that, or scientific training. Extra science rewards. Sure. Let's do that. Launch date. It's optimal in March. We can get better bonus in April. What's that? C confirm. Mission approved. Alright. So. Russia is ahead of us in this. And they'll probably get there first. The bastards. I've been slacking on that one. I was like, yeah, they've not done uh, even the first one. But they jumped on the second one right away now. Lunar orbit research complete. Sweet. Do we get a new mission for that one? Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to abort it. I wanted to see all missions, but that's okay. Uh, let's do the Pioneer payload, payload as well. Let's go. Next event. We're going to do our thingy. Ionospheric measurements. Let's see what we can find in Ionosphere. We get extra signs from that, which could be pretty solid. Let's see how well it goes. Oh, it's raining. That doesn't sound good. Whew, that sounds like bad weather to me. Stargazer. You can't even see stars today. I mean, it's also in the middle of the day, so there you go. Bad conditions. Drop shots of 74, yeah. 7% chance of critical failure. 90% of uh, payload damage. 55 secure launch and 90% perfect trajectory. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Do not go up in flames like Anubis did. Stargazer, you shall see the stars. I promise you that. You're going sideways very much so, but... Yes, okay. We got an applause, boys. We got an applause. Good stuff. Secure launch. Nothing bad happened. Some level ups, okay. That seems fine to me. Now, ionospheric measurements. What do we get out here? What do we get out here? 
We need four of these and three of these to be successful. All right, well, first we can do the ground control. And I think we'll do orbital uh, sweep again. Let's uh, resolve the turn. Oh, we didn't even get a connection. Ooh, which means... Uh, well, I guess we can resist. Sure. We'll, we'll spend some extra, but I don't think this is going to go well. I think we might fail. Oh, he's failing that one as well. Ooh, boy. We'll try resisting as well, but we really need to succeed on the next... Next ones. So use one of these. If you use one and one, we get three. Let's do... Now we're, we're, there's no way we can actually do this, is there? No, because we resisted the other two. So there's no way we can actually do this at all. Unless... So if I do... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Reset. So, um, if I do one of these, we get two. Yeah. Hmm. I do one of these, we get two of those. And then... On the next stick... I do one of these... Oh, it's, it's crazy stuff. I do one of these, we get three out of three again. And we are left with one power. No, that's not good enough. That's not going to do it. Is that one power? We can't turn into enough of these. So let's not do that. I guess we could do two of these. And then on the last one... We, again, can't do that. Well, we can on the last one, we can do then two of these. Let's try that. No, we're done. We're done. It's just, it's just a bust. Yeah, we, there's no way we, we can actually get out of here. I'll resist for now, sure. We get two of those. Maybe you can do something with it. This one, this one is failing as well. Oh, I don't think it failed. I think we actually did it. <laughs> so close. But now we, we can't do it. Just don't have enough. Unless... If we spend one of these and one of these... No. We can't do this one. If we do that... And then we do this. That way we could do it. If we don't fail both. Let's try. Yes. Okay. First one is going. Successful. I will accept this. First one is successful. Please. Please. No. Oh. We were so close. It's going to cost... Oh, the action output will be reduced by one, so... Yeah, it's, we're failing. God damn it! So close! Yeah, we have no power. We, we can't do... Or, I guess... Oh, we can try doing this one. We can try doing this one. We have one turn remaining. If we, if we do this, we turn one of these extras into one of those. Yes, yes, this is fine. Oh, we would generate one power for that, so if you fail, we can resist. But we didn't fail, we're gonna do it, boys! He has done it, the absolute madman. Accept. And we get this. Look at that! Oh! <laughs> Mission control, you beauty! Oh, we've done it! We've done it, we got a lot of approval and all that stuff. Awesome stuff, okay. We are ready for tier 4 as well. Perfect. Now... I'm gonna finish the episode over here. You guys let me know if you enjoyed Mars Horizon. Go check it out on Steam. As I said, it's in closed beta right now. But if you wishlist it, you know, you're gonna get notified when its uh, release date is announced. And, uh, you know, I think it's gonna be a good one. 
I think it's going to be a great one. So uh, check it out. I think uh, it's going to be fun. But for now, thank you, buddy, for watching. And uh, if you're new to the channel, consider uh, subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you never miss a video. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Kirk around.